Hello, we are Cliff and Steph. Please tag along as Cliff refurbishes a sign and hopefully his last. Well, there's the sign in front of the church. I don't like those little green lines. Those green lines hold a, uh, some little light pods. And uh, I don't know what somebody's idea was. And they put one of those little light pods right there in the middle of the logo. And plus that whole logo is coming apart. So I'm going to take that down and fix it. Pull off those green stripes because that's really distracting. And, um, I don't know who put that up. Well, I do have an idea who put that up there. But it was a bad bad decision that with the good intentions it was the wrong thing to do and we're going to fix it. Oh yeah, that's probably why it's so stable. Just a couple of screws. Got some studs in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. There she comes. I'll get it. There's a little damage going on there but I think it's reclaimable. Some of these things have come apart. Look at how that's come apart right there. And there, the dirty deed is done. Right here I am starting. Um, we're going to take it all apart and clean it up and uh, hopefully put it back together right this time. And uh, I think it'll work real good. All you have to do is kind of go skin it along the sides like this. And before you know, that will come right on up. So it's pretty good. A little bit at a time. There you go. Well, here we are working on uh, the sign again. And I just about got it finished uh, cleaning up. And then I think I'll do a little signing, uh, standing and prime it. Actually, I think I'm going to move it to the carport where there's no wind and then I'll uh, go ahead and um, prime it and paint it. Hopefully I can get that done today. Well, we're on the road again. Today we're going to Regal Plastics where we're going to pick up some 3 8 inch acrylic sheeting or a scrap of 3 8 acrylic sheeting for a sign that I'm refurbishing for the uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church. It's actually the logo of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. We took that down a week ago and uh, <clears throat> not really excited about getting back into the sign business or doing sign work or let people know in this area that I know how but I was figuring that a new one would probably cost about fifteen hundred dollars and to have someone refurbish it professionally probably about four hundred fifty to five hundred dollars I can donate my labor and try to keep my material expenses under a hundred dollars so we can come out on this but so that'll be my little contribution so um, that's where we're headed then hopefully we have time to go to Walmart yeah let's go in and take a look at what I've done there's some rough areas right in here let's we'll see if I can't send that down and also prime prime this area right in here <clears throat> I needed to make a pattern for the the left side of the Bible where the it was broken so uh, I could give that to Clark and he could cut out the plexiglass that we had bought.
And here is the finished pattern. So now that I got the pattern done, I can hand that off to Clark and he could be working on that while I finish up the other part of the sign. And here's the part that Clark cut out for me so that I could uh, paint it and glue it to the sign. Today's the day we're going to install, or we're going to at least attempt to install the uh, Cynthia Adventist logo sign on the church. Uh, I just got done refurbishing it. I, I told uh, the uh, head elder there that it would take two weeks, okay? That's been about two months ago. But okay, we got it. So, but first, we're going to go have a little bit back to eat with Clark, my main man. Where at? Uh, I'll be, uh, where at? Stephanie wants to say where at. Um, we're going to have the south of the border. So, uh, so uh, Steph will be my, <coughs> Steph will be my videographer, and uh, she can video us uh, install it's really, it's really taking very long. Well.
thing is heavy, right? Okay. After we put the scaffolding back and got everything all cleaned up, we decided to go down to south of the border and get a little supper because we were all hungry and it was getting late in that day. And behind Stephanie there, that is the owner of the restaurant and he used to actually fight bulls in Spain. I hope you like this episode and don't forget, please share, like, and subscribe.